Hey guys, so for this video I'm going to do a DIY of some items that I did purchase at my local Dollar Tree. If you're interested in knowing how I made this really relaxing type of tranquil tranquility um, display piece, you can stay tuned for the video. Most of the items, about 89-90% are from your local Dollar Tree, so stay tuned. So the first thing I'm using here is one of my floating shelves. I actually bought this probably like eight years ago and never used it, but you can definitely go to your local hardware store and get a piece of wood cut out just to the size of your liking. It can be as thick as you want and as long as you want, but I'm going to use this just because I've had it sitting around. Now I did purchase these recently from my local Dollar Tree, which is the Terrarium Planters. Planters. I did purchase three and you can either hang them up or you can do just do whatever. Also you can get these from your local Dollar Tree which are the tea light glass sets. These do come two for a dollar and also these succulents which I will be um, depotting this red one here for this older one that I had just because I want everything to be black. So you guys you also will need some rocks. I did get two types of rocks. The black ones and more or less the neutral pebble ones. Also some of this reindeer moss grass. You can get any type of grass of your liking you will need a hot glue gun I would prefer the hottest glue sticks that you can find as well as that as I did get this rope from my local Dollar Tree so you guys let's begin so just for the trimming of this board and like I said you can get a piece of wood from any local hardware store you can sand it down and paint it to your choice I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to take this twine and I'm going to glue it on the sides you want to make sure that you trim any excess strings that are hanging from the twine like I did so here and I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue it from the sides all the way to the front I would say get the best hot glue gun sticks that you can find I'm not really big on the hot glue gun sticks at the Dollar Tree because they really don't stick real well they will um, just come off over time so I don't get my glue sticks from the Dollar Tree any longer I get a certain brand um, which holds a lot better Gorilla glue sticks are also really good for projects so I would highly suggest just spending a little bit extra and getting some really good glue sticks so you want to go ahead you don't need a lot as you guys see right here I did put a little bit too much but glue um, hot glue is really easy to clean up once it's hard so you can definitely clean that up but like I was saying you can use any type of wood or board that you have laying around the house um, like I said this was one of those floating shelves that I had and I like to purchase things on um, a budget this was clearance I purchased this like seven eight years ago never used it and then I finally found something to use it for but you can also go to like Home Depot where they do have plenty of wood to cut from and just showcase and get you a nice piece of wood that is long enough wide enough and thick enough and just sand it down and paint it of your choice so that is one alternative that you can also do for this project and I'm going to go ahead and cut that end right here and you want to make sure that it's all the way to the end and just to make sure that it doesn't unravel I'm going to just put a little bit of the glue right at the tip of the twine Now I'm going to once again do this all over once again I'll repeat the steps just because I want it for the top as well as the bottom just to give it a little bit of style and you guys know what to do for this portion now it's time to plant the succulents so first I'm going to take that succulent out of the red one and just plant it in the black one that I have and I'm just going to use a little bit of my glue and stick it in just so that way it doesn't come out and I'm going to also do the same thing with this one here now once that glue does dry and your succulent is potted into your new plant, if you if you if you want to depot them and change them out, I'm going to go ahead and stick that into the planter and I'm going to turn it over to the bottom and I'm also going to use my glue for the portion, the bottom portion of the succulent plant. Now you don't have to use succulents, you can use anything that you like. But for this project, I want it to be very relaxing, kind of like feng shui-ish. So I'm going to use these succulents from the Dollar Tree. And I really do like these terrarium planters because you can do many different things with them. You can also use them as bird feeders, but I'm not really one for a lot of birds around my property. So that is one thing that I will not be doing. Now this one I do like a lot because it is bamboo and that's just very tranquil. I think like the whole idea of this is just tranquility and it's a very fun DIY, but very, very like easy and really, really cheap. And as you guys see, I went ahead and I planted them all to the planters with my hot glue gun. 
now that they're all into the planter study it is now time to put the reindeer moss in you can use any type of moss that you like Dollar Tree does offer about three different types I like the reindeer one because of the color and also because of the texture so I'm just going to spread that evenly around the succulent so that way it just gives it kind of like you know a very pretty like I said feng shui kind of like zen garden type of appearance and you want to make sure that you're spreading that throughout the entire succulent so if you have a straw or any type of stick just make sure that you get the back portion and you can put as much as you like it's basically up to your preference and I'm going to repeat that step onto the second one and one bag was definitely enough. I did have some left over. So depending on how many of these you'd like to make, you can definitely use just one bag. Now it's time to, pull, to glue these terrarium planters slash Zen garden in place. So I'm going to go ahead and spread them out evenly onto my board and I'm going to go ahead with the same glue stick and I'm going to glue the bottom of the planter and I'm going to set that down onto the board. And you want to make sure that it's tight. The highest temperature um, glue gun is the best for projects like these because they actually will sit in place. So I do like to get like a really nice larger size glue gun because those do have like higher temperatures as well as their glue sticks. So I would highly suggest spending a few bucks at like your Walmart or Target and purchasing like a really good glue gun because the projects will just come out really nice. Now that I went ahead and set them in place, it's time to set the tea light candle glass candle holders in place as well. And you want to just put that at the bottom and just press it into the board as well. Now as you guys can see these are the glue sticks that I use and I'll place it and look how that is really really sturdy and heavy I could not remove it so that's a plus and these tea lights you can also get from your local Dollar Tree or you can just buy a really big pack from Walmart's for about three bucks and they'll last you even longer. Now to place these big black rocks that I did get from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to first go ahead and just situate them and display them how I want them to be on the edge of my board. The reason for these rocks is because the smaller ones are just really small and you don't want them falling all over the place. So you do need something that's a little bit bigger just to keep the smaller ones in place. Plus it makes it look really nice. So just to keep the rocks in place, you also are going to need to glue those down. This just also helps with keeping the smaller rocks rocks in place so one by one I'm just going to go ahead and use my glue stick and glue these rocks down I do like the black ones because it just gives a very pretty type of Zen and it just makes it look so relaxing and by the time the project is done it looks like you've just spent a whole lot when you haven't really spent a lot I love the Dollar Tree because you can make a lot of different projects and when I got these planters I really didn't know what I was gonna do with them but then when I came home and I thought about it and I seen this black floating shelf just sitting around I decided you know what I'm going to go ahead and make some type of something and then I had to go back and get the rocks and it kind of all worked out so as you guys see I'm just going to continue on with these rocks you don't want them to be like all the same size because it just kind of like takes away so you want to make sure that you're turning them all different types of ways and so forth just so that way it gives it just like a more appeal and make sure that you are also just gluing them also on the sides and whatever you have left try to put it in the back if you want to put the black rocks on the back portion then you will definitely need about two bags depending on how wide and how long your actual board is but like I said you can get a wooden board from your local hardware store now for the smaller rocks these are a different color I do like these neutrons but you can also get the white ones at the Dollar Tree as well they do run a little bit smaller so you'll definitely need more than one bag but it's basically up to your preference you can also get these from any type of craft store Walmart wherever you see these little rocks they do come in an array of color you can also use marbles but because I want it like a Zen type of garden I did decide to use these rocks right here so there you have it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video you can display this on your coffee tables 
or wherever you like. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Make sure that you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. Is it something that you would do? Please share your ideas of what you would do with the terrarium planters. And by the time this is all done, you can definitely go ahead and get you some candles light them up and make the ambience something really really relaxing sexy fun and just look at your work so i love you guys make sure that you rate comment subscribe also the candles on the side were also from the dollar tree as well as well as the glass vases and the black stone um things were from the 99 cents only store that i did purchase so my entire project was under 20 bucks and i absolutely love it i love you guys stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on a soon to come video bye